NVIDIA's CMP170HX. Some call it the ghost card, a card that never had an announcement, it doesn't exist on paper. Others call it the gold standard of cryptocurrency mining. A card with an interesting architecture and a very curious history. So we gotta turn back the clock to 2021. At this time, NVIDIA has released their 30 series of graphics cards, and gamers could not be happier. It's a huge leap in performance from the lackluster 20 series that came before it. It also has a really good price to performance ratio where you spend a little bit of money and get a huge upgrade. So gamers definitely want this GPU. At the same exact time, cryptocurrency is going through its bull run. Prices are going insane, and with that is Ethereum, the top cryptocurrency mining coin of its time. And you can mine it with your graphics cards right at your home. So if you have the latest graphics cards which perform the best on Ethereum, you can make the most money. So crypto miners want these cards too. And so scalpers, of course, they get involved to make it harder for everyone. Shelves are empty and the prices of the GPUs are skyrocketing. So Nvidia steps in because they wanna get these cards into gamers hands and so they introduced something called light hash rate lhr and this is a modification on the card including a bios that locks the card down so that it cannot perform to its full potential in cryptocurrency mining and their hope is that they can get these geforce cards into gamers hands and cryptocurrency miners won't want them but they're not about to leave out a complete market segment of where they can make money. So instead what they do is they release cryptocurrency mining specific versions of GPUs. And this introduces the CMP, cryptocurrency mining processor lineup of GPUs. There are several that are announced and they will be manufactured through their board partners and you can just go buy them. We ran all the numbers at the time and they really weren't that appealing. Performance was okay, but ultimately they would have no resale value in the future meaning that it's just ultimately better to just see if you can find a regular 30 series card to mine with. What was interesting here is another thing that was happening behind the scenes. It didn't exist on their website. It didn't go to their board partners. It was a business to business transaction. Enter the CMP 170HX, a card that was never announced, never could be bought by you or me, but instead was manufactured in bulk and sold in bulk from NVIDIA to cryptocurrency mining farms. A GPU that is called the ghost GPU. 